<laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is PK Gam here starting World 7. Hope oh I was gonna say hopefully there's not gonna be death awaiting me, but uh, getting the feeling from this windy leafy day, I think there's gonna be a lot of pain coming. Yeah. So let's just hope that it won't be too bad, like sliding into piranha plants accidentally. Well, almost. Uh, okay. No. Oh no! Fish plus bullet build cannon plus piranha. It is a match made in heaven. Holy crap! I hope I wasn't supposed to go up there. I no! The walking hammer brothers. I forgot about you guys. Yeah, they walk towards you. This is a special kind of Hammer Brother in Lost Levels. This is not gonna be pretty unless I can get past them really quickly like that. Uh, oh, no, 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 don't jump all the way down here. Please do not. Thank you. Huh. Oh, uh, power up, power up. Moolah? No, oh. Is there, am I supposed to, oh, crappers. <laughs> Thought I was supposed to. Okay, I pressed the button a little bit too late there. <laughs> I, I thought I was supposed to go like into the pipe or something like that and I got pretty far in my first run there surprisingly <laughs> uh, Now that I know what's coming sort of I should be able to kind of blaze Blaze through the level that's obviously not the case <laughs> Okay, I made it back over here So that I guess wasn't too bad. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to kill you off aren't I? Yep, gonna have to kill you off like a bad character in a soap opera. There we go. <laughs> and hopefully I can make this. Yes, awesome sauce. That wasn't quite pixel perfect, but it, oh no! Why are you here? No. <laughs> okay. Whew. I do not like the Walking Hammer Brothers. They are the most evil enemy ever conceived by Nintendo. Well, at least I think so. Are you in a fire, or can I jump up safely? I can jump up safely, okay. Yay! 7-1 is done, that didn't take too long. About 170 seconds according to Cam Studio. And that makes me quite happy. Hopefully I'll be able to get this part done within one recording. <laughs> I haven't been able to do that for like the last two parts. Oh, I thought I was supposed to make a big jump there. <laughs> thought I guess I'm just supposed to ride that platform. That was my fault. I should have tested the waters with that platform first. There we go. Let's take a nice leisurely ride through death here. I said death, so I didn't really uh, misconstrue that notion. <laughs> I should say that... Uh, Ah, uh, oh, what am I trying to say here? I don't know. I think I'm gonna avoid that power up because that's gonna kill me a lot. So yeah <laughs> I don't do I have to get up there. I probably do just like I had to do on that freaking 4-3 This is giving me nightmares of 4-3 all over again. Oh, yep. Yep. It's a loop-de-loop loop loop So here's another power up or it's probably the same power up because the level looped and how the heck am I supposed to get up there with you guys not cooperating with me? Cause you guys, you guys gotta be at like the top, the peak of my jump when I, when I, yeah, yeah, I guess that works, yay! So, there goes the endless loop. That wasn't nearly as bad as 4-3. Anything that I can use inside these boxes, probably not. If, even if there's like a mushroom or something like that, I probably couldn't get it anyway because of the fact that I have to bounce it out of the block. <laughs> I don't think I can jump up there normally, so, oh well. This is, oh no! Lack it too. Woo! Yeah, combo attack. Throw your thing. Throw your thingy. What? Why didn't he throw a thing? Well, whatever. Now we got fire bars out in the normal overworld kind of place here. The ath oh athletic area. That goes kind of poopy there. But did I hit a midpoint? Did I hit? A no crappers. All right, we're back over here, and I got a, I got that power up. It's not as hard to get as I thought it was, so I'm gonna show you that if I die. You basically just let the mushroom plop itself over onto the platform. You don't even have to worry about uh, falling into the abyss. You just have to tap it as the platform is moving forward. Uh, hopefully, I won't have to repeat this level. Holy cow, that was a lucky jump. <laughs> Really, really lucky. Oh, poop. Oh, poop. Oh, this is not looking good for me. Koopa hopping with these controls. Success. Failure. <laughs> no, don't. Don't eat me. And... Yeah, I guess I'm not going to show it after all. Well, maybe I'll insert the clip or... Yeah, maybe I'll just insert the clip of me getting the power up or something like that. So 
7-3. Let's go. Hopefully this won't be too... Oh, oh. Super springiness with wind. No, please, no. I beg of you. I think I'm supposed to use the wind as like my momentum to move forward. But if I ever screw up on these springs once, I'm pretty much a goner. <laughs> but that is to be expected of lost levels, of course. Oh, will I make it? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Will I? No, no. <laughs> Three block area off screen. That's kind of blind if you ask me. No, no game over, no. Oh, that's okay, I don't really care. I don't think I hit a midpoint of any sort anyway. Boing! Hopefully I'll be able to, get to hit all these springs like properly. I should say jump off them properly. If I don't, oh, that's gonna tick me off. Especially if it's gonna be like the last spring or something like that. Where am I, where am I? No! <laughs> it's so hard to predict it. I think I might have to like, use the screen to my advantage, like, to feel out where I am in the sky, like, slowly move myself forward or something like that, and then slow down my landing, something like that, maybe? I'm not too sure. We like, get a little slower, slower, all right, that works for me. No, 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 that doesn't work for me, but at least I actually lived. <laughs> okay, slow down, slow down, there we go. That's how you do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where am I supposed to land? Where am I supposed to land? Where am I supposed to- No! I can go all the way across there. Okay, I'm going to try that next time. Alright, that was the next springy thingy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. No, no, no. Please, have mercy. Have mercy. Oh, that was not a good jump because I had like no forward momentum there. I don't think I'll make it to- Arrgh! I didn't think so. <laughs> Oh, uh, a funny thing I should mention, um, the wind here, if you didn't notice, it actually... What, what the heck happened there? <laughs> the wind actually messes with the music a little bit. That I believe that also happened in the original SNES, SNES version as well. Oh! <laughs> that was really weird. So, uh, yeah, I just thought I would make note of that. So if it sounds a little bit different, that's just because of the wind here. But you probably noticed that already in the other parts that had wind in them, so... It's like no surprise to you by now. I just thought I would make note of that. And hopefully I'll be able to have a good run this time. It's it's like rolling dice. Five dice and hoping they get Yahtzee or something like that. <laughs> That's pretty much how Lost Levels has been to me lately. Oh no! Ah, I didn't use my forward momentum to gauge my jump. Oh! All right, hit the spring. Let's make it, let's make it. Uh, yeah! Alright, we've got a little bit of progress here, I hope. I think these jumps are getting wider. Oh god, why did they put a power up there of all places? That is not worth it, I'm just gonna say that right now, or at least it doesn't feel worth it to me. Oh no! I'm gonna have to do- oh, okay, that wasn't that bad after all. I was expecting that I would have to do, like, a uh, jump from Piranha Plant to Piranha Plant with the wind or something, you know, like using the wind and my momentum to my advantage. Whoa, getting a little too far ahead of myself here. Where am I? Oh, okay. No way! No way! Oh! <laughs> oh no, the wind stopped! Oh, I was so close, I could feel it. Oh no! I didn't know the jump button long enough. No! Oh! Oh, yeah! I knew I was close to the end. Because I seen that higher block up there, and I was like, yeah, that's the end. Uh, I think I'm going to have to stop the recording for just a sec here. Yeah, it's getting close to uh, 15 minutes on the recording. Hold on! All right, we're back over here, and we're in Bowser's castle. Well, one of his many, many, many castles, I should say. Yep, yep. Oh, lots of moving platforms. That wasn't that bad, actually. I think I'm safe fetal positioning in this corner here. There we go. Oh, tight Koopa jumps. Oh, look at that thing bounce. <laughs> uh, bloop. Okay, uh-oh. Please don't tell me I have to take a certain route. Please? Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. I didn't hear, like, any doo -doo sound. Is that going to kill me if I actually go in the corner or something like that? Because that would really suck if I have to, like, dash through that. I don't think that's even possible to get over there in time. Yeah! 
All right, that works. So I bet you this one can be done exactly the same. See, if I had to get across there, or I should say under there, by going all the way, uh, by trying to do it all in one run from jumping down from on top of there, it just wouldn't work for me too well. At least I don't think it would. Uh, I hate when fire bars are combined with fireballs. But I think that's the plan! That's why! It always puts pressure on you. Yeah, there's just like absolutely no reason to take the lower route there. <laughs> I mean like at all. Just looking at that, there's just like this blockade of buzzy beetles. I guess if you wanted to get like a one-up or something like that, if that is your forte, if you even dare to try and get a one-up. <laughs> But 1-ups are practically useless in this game, as I've explained before, so yeah. Alright. Okay, fire bar. It's just you, me, and Bowser's fireballs. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, he jumped up! Curses! Oh. Oh! This castle's like a walk in the park, except for that ending portion there. But that's not really all I hard to get to, so it's like, who cares? <laughs> it, it's like the game's difficulty dropped greatly since, like, like, World 4 and 5 pretty much demolished me, and then these later worlds are, like, seemingly nothing. The obstacles in these are not nearly as random. It's more about pure platforming skill than it is rolling the dice and hoping that you're going to have a victory somewhere along the line. Like, see, I just had yet another good run through the first area because it's not that hard to do at all. Uh, even this section right here, you just you can even duck in this corner if you wanted to. You could probably even duck in this corner, yep. So, it's, it's more of a thing of patience, I suppose. But, yeah, you can hit that buzzy beetle, lock the other one into the corner. It's just an easy castle all around. It's basic platforming 101. Even this this Potoboo right here, it doesn't clash at all with the fireballs most of the time. So it isn't like that fireball is going to get right up in your grill as you're trying to make a jump. See that? So that's pretty much all there is to this castle, except for this section right here. Now, that fire bar, that, that is a real problem because of the fact that you have to be next to Bowser to be able to run under his hammers and then underneath him. Well, that fire bar gives you a limited amount of time that you can do that! Yeah! Woo! Tiny Toads, what?! <sighs> Unbelievable. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next part. Where's the princess?